and out of the ground. We take it out and then we start taking the leaves from the bottom until on the bottom we have a root or a bulb. We, we cut the root out of the plant and then you replant it and then replant the bulb. And then from the bulb, let me see if there's good examples over here, more or less like this. After three to five months, tiny pineapple plants start wow. coming out of the bulb. So this is how they reproduce. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we take them out, they're big enough, we take them out and then we plant them in another greenhouse. And then from there, wait another 13 to 15 months to grow another pineapple. Wow. Okay. Quite a process. Yeah, that's why again the price is a bit expensive. That's what I was going to ask you. So it is yeah. expensive here. Yeah. Oh, no. And to cedar wood. And in the summer, we need to paint the roof white because we don't want too much sun coming in. It will burn the fruit. In the winter, the opposite. We scrub it out. It's whitewashed, so it's scrubbing with water. The painting comes off, and then we have more sun in the winter. So basically, throughout the whole year, we keep the same temperature, and that's why we grow pineapples all year round. Also triangle shape because when it rains the water goes into this canal and then goes to that tank over there and then we can do the irrigation with water from the rain. Okay? Uh, again, when they're three to five months, that's when they're big enough. We take them out and then we plant them in another greenhouse. The soil, it's a compost mixture, mixture of sawdust, chicken manure, volcanic soil and uh, it's warm, it keeps temperature and humidity and acidity to the pineapple. Wow, wow. Nice. nice. That is, wow. It says fifth phase, nine days. So this is the last, of, is this the last of it? Or? No. This one, do you see what's in the middle? Yeah. Those what? buckets? I guess. You want to guess? I'm trying, but I can't, I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out what is this. So I can see <laughs> something coming out of it. Exactly, there's holes on the can. And the can is a bit burned. Oh, okay. You're making the liquor here or what? <laughs> no, no. This, so uh, we are growing pineapples on an environment they are not used to. So to grow a fruit, it was going to take years and years to grow a tiny little fruit. More or less. So basically, we came out with a way uh, that if you stress plants, they flower faster and have a fruit faster. If you stress the plant. It's, it's almost like we are triggering... A defense mechanism of the plant saying hey i don't want to die i'm going to start reproducing okay. okay okay so we came out with a way that we close the greenhouse doors and windows and everything we fill those buckets with dry vegetation and we let them on fire the buckets wow okay. and it's just smoke inside the smoke basically asphyxiates the plant stressing the plants out make it flower faster and all of them so at the same the time. You're asphyxiating it, but literally killing it. So we are killing it. Killing it, not... Killed it. Yeah, you're we not didn't kill it yet. Okay. So we are almost like killing it. And then on the next day, we open the doors for air to come in. And then we repeat that for almost nine times on that month. Pineapple with bright colors. That's the flower stage. So from here, they start the fruit itself. Are we going out? Yeah, we're going out. We're going, going down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is the pineapples, uh, I don't know if you're noticing a difference on them, they're smaller because again we are basically uh, simulating the place that where they are originally, originally from. Uh, the crown of the pineapple, it's also smaller, we actually damage the crown of the pineapple in purpose so the plant can concentrates growing the fruit and we also clip the leaves for the same reason, this way the plant always concentrates growing the fruit and not the plant itself. 